have a whole new life here, Woody. We're Andy's toys. Oh, I want to get played with. Uh, Rex. They just love new toys now, don't they? The film takes place several years after Toy Story 2, and Andy, the little boy who owns Woody and Buzz and the rest of the toys, is grown up. He's 17, almost 18, and he's heading off to college, which, as you can imagine, puts the toys in a very precarious position. And uh, a series of events leads them to being donated to a daycare center, but they soon discover that the, the daycare is not the best place for them to be. And the rest of our adventure kind of unfolds from there. Someone need a hand? Oh. Uh, Where's my nose? Here it is. Here's your arm. Give me that. That's Honey, mine. the mustache? I don't recall playtime being quite that strenuous. <laughs> Andy never played with us like that. We spent quite a long time brainstorming and coming up with the genesis, the seed of the idea. We start building the sets and Andy's room and all of the characters of which on this film are well over 120 characters that we need to create. I think that I had uh, in the neighborhood of um, 50 animators, roughly, working on the film. All the animation's done in the last year and a half or so of the production, but the whole film takes about four years to make. No day is uh, similar to the previous day, and you're working with this multifaceted process that's constantly stimulating. So four years doesn't ever seem like that long to us because it's every day is so different and you have to accomplish so much. Okay, uh, first off, we all knew Operation Playtime was a long shot. We spend like two and a half years on uh, just the story alone, just kind of hashing out the screenplay and what's going to happen in the film. We're honing the story over and over and over again, getting all the dialogue and story points just right. By the time we actually animate, we try to have the story figured out pretty well. Because the animation is so expensive and time consuming to produce, we want to be pretty sure that um, all of those scenes belong in the film before we uh, animate them. <laughs> Bitácora espacial. Me he despertado del hipersueño en un planeta extraño. Now what did you do? I just did what you told me. I have the final say over everything, which means I have to get involved in every tiny aspect of making the film. Um, from working with the actors providing the voices to working with the animators who are providing the physical performances of the characters, designing the look of the world, uh, working with Randy Newman on the, the soundtrack, the score of the film. Um, I mean, there are just a million things to do each and every day. So the four years goes by very quickly. This is why I pinch myself all the time. I get to work at this amazing company, work with um, unbelievable talent. So, so many of our talent are legends, or the biggest movie stars of all time. And they're so nice and, and just lovely to work with. So it's fantastic. And usually you have a three after your title and, and it guarantees garbage. Um, but we wanted to show that that didn't have to be the case. So we uh, kind of gave the same attention to this film and the same rigor in, in our storytelling that we would apply to any film that we would make, uh, original or otherwise. What's important now is we stay together. They'll never make it! Ah! Head. You would not believe what I've been through tonight.